It is the deadliest drug threat in our country today, and now dealers are using bright colors to market it to our kids. More than 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses last year, two-thirds of them linked to synthetic opioids like fentanyl. In-depth coverage tonight about the DEA warning about rainbow fentanyl, colorful pills and powder that can kill. It is a troubling trend across the country. Uh, disturbing, we consider it a, a, a deliberate effort by the traffickers to drive addiction amongst uh, young kids and, um, and, and adults. Rainbow fentanyl, fentanyl pills and powder that come in a variety of shapes, sizes and bright colors. In some cases, it even resembles children's sidewalk chalk. Every color, shape, size of fentanyl should be considered extremely dangerous. The DEA and law enforcement officers across the country have already seized the brightly colored pills and powder in at least 18 states. Purple fentanyl, uh, the pills have been a, a, a variety of colors um, similar to, to Skittles, um, the color you find in the Skittles pack. And Ohio is one of those states. In fact, the disturbing discovery made by agents right here in Northeast Ohio. I share my story in hopes that people wouldn't have to go through what I did. Shauna Jacobs is the office administrator at Stella Maris, a drug and alcohol treatment center in Cleveland. But her story started here as a patient after she became addicted to prescription pain pills. After something tragic in my life happened, I started using that to cope. Then heroin and fentanyl. When she overdosed. At that time, I knew like enough was enough. It happened at her mother's house. I was all alone. Um, everyone was asleep. And I woke up all by myself, and it really scared me. Now sober almost four years, like the DEA, she's concerned that brightly colored fentanyl is targeting kids and young adults. It's like you put flavors to, to vape or flavors to alcohol. You know, it, it makes it more appealing. That's why law enforcement is not only seizing the illegal drugs from the streets, but also educating about the potential deadly dangers of this new trend. Opioids and synthetic drugs like fentanyl are a huge problem here in Ohio without even adding those rainbow colors to the drugs. According to the Ohio Department of Health, 2020 marked the highest year for unintentional drug overdose deaths in Ohio, killing more than 5,000 people. Fentanyl was involved in 81 percent of those deaths. And today we learned that more than two dozen drug task forces across the state are splitting nearly two and a half million dollars from the Recovery Ohio Fund to help them bring down drug trafficking organizations here at home.